Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're showing you how to create patterns and apply them as wallpaper in Photoshop. We got a great tutorial. Let's jump in. So we've got two images today. I want to turn this image on the right hand side into a pattern and then apply it as wallpaper over here on the left. This is gonna be so much fun. So we're starting with this wallpaper pattern. I'm gonna hit F for full screen. Now this is all we have here. It's not a pattern, it's just simply a print. So we're gonna start off by making a selection out of the flowers. Click on your background layer. We're gonna go up to select and then down to color range. There we go. Now I'm just gonna simply click on these flowers here and I can increase or decrease my selection. There we go. Something like that looks pretty good. I want to make sure that I've got all the detail of these flowers and let's hit OK. So now that that's selected, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to Edit, and then down here to Fill, and then we're just going to choose to fill this with white. There we go. Control or Command D to deselect. Now I can actually just make that background layer invisible, and if I want to, I could even create a solid color fill layer. There we go. Let's just get something like that. Fantastic. So we get a little preview of what everything is going to look like. So now comes the magic of being able to define and view our pattern preview. So let's check this out. We're going right up here to our view menu and then down here to where it says pattern preview. Fantastic. Just hit OK and zoom out. I'm in full screen, by the way. If you're not in full screen, you might not be able to see everything. So hit F for full screen. Now, Check this out, so incredibly cool because I can actually move these elements because right now you can see I've got all these like blank areas here and the pattern doesn't look that great. But if I click here on my layer, I'm gonna use my lasso tool. So let's zoom in here, just make a selection right around this object with my lasso tool. There we go. And now all I have to do is move it. So I'm gonna hit V for the move tool and I can move this around. And as I move it, I'm gonna see how it looks like on my entire preview, and it actually starts to put some information on the bottom and leave some on the top. So I can do this with all of these elements. Let's go ahead and grab our lasso tool again. There we go, V for the move tool. I'm just gonna put that there in the corner. And the idea is I wanna fill all these blanks. You know, this is just a, a photograph of a print, um, you know, that was not tileable before. You know, we, we just had all those like, gaps if we try to tile it, but this actually allows me to tile it. You can see half of this flower is now on the left hand side and the other half is on the right. So it actually like copies it over to the other side. And I'm basically filling in this pattern. So you can see it's improving with every little object that I move. Like here, for instance, we have quite a big gap underneath this little, looks like a butterfly. So I'm gonna hit L for my lasso tool, sample that little butterfly, V for my move tool, and we're just gonna pull it down there. And now half of it's gonna be on the bottom of my image, but then it just puts the other half right there on the top. And I think that's actually starting to look pretty good. Let's just move a couple things over. This is fantastic. Now you guys are gonna be able to download not only the sample image and the PSD, but you can also download this pattern for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. All right, I think that's actually looking really, really nice. Yeah, if we zoom out, beautiful, great pattern. So now how do we turn this into a pattern? It's actually super easy to do. We just go to edit and then down here to where it says define pattern. All right, and we're just gonna call this wallpaper pattern and I'm just gonna call this 01, hit okay. Now I'm gonna turn my background layer off and define it again. So we can do this with or without a background. So let's go to edit down here again to define pattern and we'll just call this wallpaper pattern 02 and hit enter. All right, now we're done with our pattern. How do we actually apply it to the other image? F for full screen on the other image. Now we're just going to go to layer down to new fill layer and over here to pattern. All right, let's hit okay. And now you have some patterns that are preloaded with Photoshop. I'm gonna click right here and I have the patterns that I just made available for me in my pattern editor. And I'm just gonna bring the scale down. Now, this is a fill layer. You can adjust the scale at any time. You can adjust your angle. You can do all kinds of stuff. Let's hit okay. I'm gonna change this layer blend mode now from normal down here to soft light. And we can see how it's going to interact on my photo. 
Now let's go ahead and make another one. We're going to go to layer, down to new fill layer, and over here to pattern. This time we're going to use the second pattern that we created. Okay, both of these will be included in your download. This one doesn't have a background, right? So it's a little bit easier to use. Again, if it's too big, no big deal. Just double click right here on your layer and you can adjust your scale. It does it in real time so you can see how this would look. Now, like some people do create custom wallpapers and actually paint them and put them in their house. This is one way you could do that. Uh, like you could literally just print this and turn it into a wallpaper. Or here we're just doing it in Photoshop. So this looks really, really nice. I'm gonna change the layer blend mode from normal. We're gonna go down to soft light, which is just gonna place it on the background. Now, the only thing I have to do left is just remove uh, my subject. So let's make this layer invisible real quick. I'm just gonna go to my quick selection tool and just simply paint right over here around our background. There we go, hold shift and paint it visible there. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna click on my layer mask and hit Control or Command I to invert it. It's actually the opposite of what we want. So let's click on our layer mask again, Control or Command I again. All right, let's make this invisible. I'm gonna click on my background and go to Select Subject. There we go. And go back on my layer and go to Edit and Fill. And we're just gonna fill this with black. Okay, so it just made that invisible where my subject is. Pretty cool. Wow, how cool is this? And now I just have to, I'm just gonna use my regular brush tool to paint it away. This is all just like simple layer masking, by the way. All right, all of our pattern work is done. Now, check out the cool thing. We have this like in our image. This other pattern is there too. If you wanted to create a few different patterns and try them out, check this out. All I have to do is copy the layer mask from one to another. To do that, hold Alt or Option and click and drag from one layer mask to another one Boom, and now it's automatically updated and now this layer is only visible on that wall. So it's a really cool way to kind of test some things out. And again, you can double click right here on your pattern preview. I can change my angle of the pattern. I can change my scale of the pattern. All this stuff I can do in real time and it's gonna update. And because my layer mask is nice and beautiful, uh, I don't have to worry about it being visible everywhere. How? Cool is that? So there's our before and our after. Making a pattern, applying it as wallpaper, putting everything there in Photoshop. Super fun, all these downloads are available on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. If you wanna get more free tutorials for Photoshop, Lightroom, photography, click on the subscribe button right down below. And let me know what you thought of today's episode in a comment. Thank you so much, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.